that it's is good thing the Renekton. I was the Sejuani. <laughs> it's a good pairing. You talked about it. You talked. Yeah. You just said it moments ago. Champion interactions. Sejuani Renekton, of course, a classic. See if Finn is able to pull ahead. Yeah. Not willing to let this one go quietly. Lost at least on the way. Markun retreating. Level six for Finn though. Tyro has bought. Or so bought as well. Both TPs now used. Trimmy's going to be in trouble here. They know that he has no flash. Just easy kill pickup. First blood to the side. Objectives as well. Trimmy now walking back. Luckily, three members there. Zoelise a little bit too isolated. Ziggs is starting to come up, but it doesn't matter. And again, we see this overconfidence coming what in. What you expect is consistent demolish procs every other wave. Comp. Comp has no business stepping up, but didn't recognize that Trimby was there. Thought he was in the 1v1. Flash out to safety. Flacket on the flash in. We'll finish the job. Quick kill. So Elise's first and only death of the game thus far. But now Yankos is wandering in. Maybe hoping that it's gift wrap for him. Can't quite yeah. get the smite off. So this is really where Vi comes online. Level 6 with this Talia and the Rel. The amount of setup this three-man core is incredibly strong. If they ever find an isolated target or even just a regular target like in the midst of everyone else, they absolutely burst in a single rotation. Then pull back there onto Finn. Unstoppable now. Finn gonna be in trouble. Instantly gonna try to ult, but Wonder just doing so much damage. Finn now just running the dash forward. Wonder getting the solo kill. 1v1 man just divided. Now Spyro running for his life. Yanko's waiting over the wall. Trimmy now trying to follow up, but where's the rest of the damage? The immediate combo. You talked about it. The single target damage. The threaded volley to finish. How much more can Team Heretics get? I don't know if he had flash at the start, but not managed to get out of there. Take a look at this one. Spyro! Keen. It is safe to say, but knows that he has Yankos behind him. Zyro, is he willing to flash over the wall here? Rogue now trying to follow up. Lars getting a couple autos down. Good damage coming in from the Ziggs from long range, but now it's Flack on the backside to punish. Rogue over eager, but Larson can start to get the resets. Yankos are trying to come in. Wonder trying to buy a bit more space. Comp now going to be in trouble. The Ziggs isolated and alone. Flack just continuing to auto stacking up a little bit more. Wonder looking for the Q3 pullback on the Finn is there. Team Heretics taking the fight. And just watch Flack in that entire fight once we get the replay, because the second all the spells come out, Zyro inviting the fight there, knowing that he'd win with that TP coming through Flash and the Zeri. As Larson extends a little bit. Playing on the edge there. Wonder has he overstayed. Q3 goes in the wrong direction. Wonder now has to back up. They're committing. Oh, they just keep going for more trimmings on the way in. Push that wave in. Yanko's walking away though and will be spotted an award. So now Finn can step up. Hook in. Hex flash over the wall. Good start to kick things off. Wonder trouble, but it's still a Cassante. He's living for so damn long. Dash back. Getting out to safety. Manages to escape the minefield for a brief moment, but still goes down. A one-for-one -one trade support. Oh, they're waiting for a little bit more information. Team Heretics, as soon as the dragon call comes down, yep. they know they have a brief window of opportunity to feel much less achievable. As Team Heretics just get further and further ahead. 2k gold lead. Yes, Larson is pushing, but Team Heretics have already got the tower. They're all going to reset. They're going to be first back on the map. Uh, the only really good news for the side of Rogue, other than going even on the tower trade, is that there's no major objective for them to take with that reset advantage. Absolutely. And items coming out for both teams now. These are priority for that. Instead, just gonna siege mid. And you can see everyone from Rogue trying to go there. up. But again, Marcoon caught out here, taking a big chunk. Wonder off to the side. One way to get it done. Trimby taking a little bit of damage, but Team Heretics full collapse on the mid lane to ensure that they get that charge. And now Yanko. Oh, there it is. Did he flash to alt? He just burned flash. Did he flash to get an alt range? That can't be worth it. When Dragon's two minutes ten away. There's no Dragon for two minutes, so it doesn't matter. Also, constant TP flanks with all this deep vision on both sides. Dash back is clean from Flacket. Oh, so Elise the over eager. Beautiful ult from Trimby. And the immediate follow up from Team Heretics. They're skirmishing. Their fighting is so damn clean today. And Rogue are just running for the hills. Yeah, what can they take off this as well? They're just, they're still they're chasing. They're ignoring the tower. They're going to let the minions finish if they want more. Wanda still had Ghost for a bit, so I see what the angle was. I don't think they're going to be able to, you know, Ziggs, the amount of wave clear he does have on, alongside the satchel from Tristana, so they just cannot see his wall. Arkun going to use the ultimate, but this frankly, is the play has kind of already fizzled. They have nothing, it feels like. Q. Doesn't look like it. Yes. <laughs> Coming over the wall. Immediate response from Arkun, but again, the counterplay here from Rogue is, is essentially non existent. They don't have the damage. There's no one in the area to follow up on Marcoon's ultimate. It just delays the ult. And there's the well, follow from Trimby. Ulti on the backside from Ziggs, not doing much of anything. Yankos might just get taken down, though. Big shutdown over to the side of Comp. Now it's Team Heretics who are a bit over eager. Forced to walk away. Team Heretics keen to get a pick Lost here. Rogue flush. have overstagged but on silent. Larson just needs to run. But Trimby, eyes on the Tristana. The knockback is there. Again, that's the follow up. You called it out. There it is. There's no flash. The rocket. He's jump. running up now as fast as he can to potentially play. Uh, the Baron, but crucially, you know, you've got the MR Shred, now the turn. Fight coming out as well, Yankus just goes right over the wall, Flacket again, uncontested. He's barely even a part of this fight. 
AD carry now finally gonna come in. Clack is gonna clean up, but Team Heretics doing work here. Trimby. Burn onto Trimby. Should finish the job. Comp at least gonna get one back. But again, I mean, Aragon, they're just getting you know, obliterated in these fights, and I just feel like Ro just looked lost. I, I think Rogue could have played it a bit slower in the play for the poke on the Ziggs, because if you're in the pit versus Ziggs ult or Ziggs Qs, you're kind Close of enough to participate in the play, so it was just easy inside Team Heretics. And Yanko's again wandering into the pit. Should get punished here, is forced to flash out to safety. All Shock Laser will not steal it away. So at the very Doesn't least... Matter, right? You have so much standing gold in tier twos in the mid and bot lane. You just play mid bot and potential siege. Now that Baron buff is going to make it easier to not be wave cleared on by the Ziggs. So, Zwaru is going to hit that mid turret. He's free to do so. Red Team Heretics, even at a man disadvantage, another thing kind of step forward here. It's so hard for Rogue to get on the Flacket. And the other three members, they can't really afford to burn cooldowns on at this point in the game. Trimby isolates himself. That might be an avenue of attack, but Team Heretics really trying to sink their waves up here. Power Cannon will drop. Mid-wave a little bit far away, so Flacket not going to auto. Really taking his time, hoping to get both waves to crash at the same time, but there's the Weaver's Wall for setup. Wonder cut trapped on the wrong side of it, and that wall blocking the creeps. A bit awkward, yeah. but now the turn to mid, so a bit of a desync here for Team Heretics. This doesn't hurt them, but it certainly limits the impact of their Baron. Is Wonder now keen to kick things off, so Elise will sidestep. Towers are all still up for Rogue, though, keeping that inhibitor line alive. Yeah. Trying to find uptime on the tower with a Talia wall, I think, as well as maybe fish for someone pinning them behind it, but still. Trying to find it, and they use this barrier. Imagine this is just going to get taken. Or mid, at least. And of course, the later we go, Larson going to get more uh, range yeah. draw. Beat the Tristana passive, giving more and more. So a bit harder for Blackhead to walk up and auto attack for free, but that should just be the tower taken out now. Team Heretics feel like they have enough of an advantage to just bully through on that wave, and Yanko's immediately shifting priority up to the top side. Trimby very low. There's an avenue of an attack here, but Blackett again, the big threat, and no one can get on top of him. Yeah. So, yet another tower gonna fall. I mean, three items to Ziggs and three items to Trisana. This is the closest they're gonna be in terms of item thresholds, right? Three to three and a half is doable if they manage to find the engage on that. Chunk on the Trimby might just set it up. It's like this multiple stacking. So, it's just gonna get worse and worse. Rogue have to pull the trigger. They're on a timer here. If they don't pull the trigger, they're just gonna be completely flooded with super minions. So, there he is. There Trimby. Is Making it out oh, to safety. Zoelise is dead. Ulti now coming in. Opportunity for them to kick the fight off. Wonder getting the pull back, and Blackhead goes over the wall. It's easy pickings. He's just going to clean up, throwing lightning through the entire rogue front line. Last inhibitor tower. Last inhibitor going to fall. Flash forced out for comp. It is comp and Larson versus the world. Two Yordles just trying to get it done. But there's no avenue here. They're not even going to walk up. It's over. I don't think they can even clear the minions at this point. It's uh, yeah. Should be getting chunked a little bit, but uh, I think that's game. Team Heretics bleeding Rogue out of the game, not giving them those avenues of tech. Taking them out slow, controlled, yeah. steady.